Nature's bounty is blooming in this West Yorkshire market town. Thanks to the green-fingered efforts of the residents, every space is packed with flowers, fruit and vegetables. Well, now the people of Todmorden are hoping you can help their garden grow by recruiting hundreds of thousands of tiny little helpers. They're talking about bees and the whole town is buzzing about it. We're passionate about fruit and vegetables and passionate about bees because we wouldn't have the fruit and vegetables if we didn't have the bees. And bees are in danger so we've got to speak up for them. What we need is take areas like this. This needs to be a bees pantry. It needs to be overflowing with blossoms. If we attract the bees, a lot of them, solitary bees, will make their homes here. We need to educate a whole generation about the preciousness of bees. We're up the creek without them. Give bees a chance. Give bees a chance. Oh, what a glorious thing to be. A healthy grown up that's why the next generation is fully behind the campaign and the children of Fernley Primary School have been learning all about them. And bees have a natural talent out that nobody else could have and if we don't let them live then there's no one to replace them. They have pockets in their knees, it's used to carry pollen. Bees are always flying and always don't never ever go to sleep. The group want to help more people in the town set up hives and learn how to look after them. People like beekeeper Wes Paul. Einstein once said, if the bees died out in the world, the world would last about four years. If you don't have the bees to pollinate the plants, then you don't have the plants to feed anybody. certainly buzzing here in Todmorden, but now it's my time to head off to Harrogate.